This is KTN News. For close to two weeks, and attention now on the missing children, the whereabouts of nine-year-old Alan, eight-year-old Ryan, and the youngest six-year-old Tiffany was turning into an anxious moment for the family. It was a nightmare for everyone. People had seen a young girl's body in a coffee plantation and uh, told me that uh, we need to go and see if uh, she's the one. So they told us they're taking the body to think uh, this is mortuary. They got there and waited for the body. And when they came, because now you know we hadn't seen how the kids were dressed, when we saw the body, I called the house girl and she confirmed that was the body. Two more children were missing, but not for long and not too far away from the scene where that of the young Tiffany had been discovered. Funny enough, they were still in the vicinity of where we were searching. And uh, those ones were badly, they were actually not bodies. We collected bones because what was remaining of one kid, I think, was just a, a one leg. And I think the heads had been cut off, the throats had been slit, because the, the heads and the body were really quite kando kando. And it's like they had been, uh, maybe some acid or something corrosive had been poured on the body. And I think there wasn't enough to pour on the girl, because the girl only part of the face was disfigured, maybe the acid got finished or something. And I think I can say that at that point we got some relief because it was very depressing. And I think uh, now we knew there's nothing else, else left to look for. And in December, my daughter was born in my house, and she was born in my house. She was born in my house, and she was born in my house. And she was born in my house, and she was born in my house. She was born in my house, and she was born in my house. She was born in my house. Lakini ni shida tupu. Kamuliza ni kwa nini? Kaniambia hapana, hakuna. Kamuliza kwa nini maniambia hivyo? Sasa ni kwa ndoto tu. Kaniambia a a hakuna shida. Nikamuliza uko sawa? Eh, na ni kwa nini nimesema hivyo? Sasa hebu niseme kwa ufupi tulingangana kiasi. The two week long search of a husband, wife and their children had come to a shocking end. Who had killed Paul Magu's wife and her children? Where did Paul take his own life? Where did this man turn against his own family and slaughter them? Was there a third hand in the killings? He was not a violent person. Ata tukichija kuku, ata siku moja haja wahi kutukatia kuku shingo. Ata mimi wareo siwezi kata. Na walikuwa wanachijia buzi hapa, hapa kwa huu muti. Na walikuwa naeda kwa barabara, anapika simu. Imekufa, atarudi wakati mumechija na imekufa. Hakuweza kuangalia mukichija. Ata violence yoyote. Haku, ata kwa TV ya likuwa na niabia mi violence. Ngambo ya violence. I didn't see this coming. Never even thought anything like that could happen. Paul Magu was many things to many people. He was very naughty. He's a naughty boy. Ata mama yake alikuwa kiongea kama hana eshima. The family of Lydia Magu's wife told Kiss Files Paul was one thing to them and another to the rest of the family members. This Paul is controlling and uh, you are, you're only important when he's using you, sorry. When you have nothing to offer, but when you have something to offer, you're good. That is, I knew both, I knew both Pauls. She really used to have a hard time. Because this is our money. They, so she could not help one of us who was struggling. And that thing really weighed down on her. So she could call me and say, like, God, Nancy, this is too hard for me. Somebody's want, somebody wants money. I can't help. I'm told this is our, this is our money. It's, it reaches, it is my money and my children. Okay, she, could, she was carrying so much burden. She was between a rock and a hard place. I have my family, I have this husband. So she, she didn't even knew herself, who am I, you know? So she had a, she didn't have, okay. She lived a miserable life. 
To Paul Margo's family was the nice man, a loving husband and father. Could the church have turned Paul into something else? Did the church block Paul Margo's thinking to an extent? He lost himself and his family. He was a humble man. 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 <laughs> Paul Margo's mother believes there was more to church and between the son and his pastor. Kabura Mago had a kufa. Then Nani Kareta washida. Yaki Nikaona Mago a mekufa. Now we are Kuenda Kumafish. They had stayed with that woman for about eight years. Nine years, Yokidogo. Yeah. Walikuwa pamoja, very close for 80 years, 80 good years. Kuliza huyo kijana wangu. Sasa kwa sababu umeanza kukibizana na prophecies, na miracles, kwa sababu nasikia huyu mama ni prophet, jihadhali sana. Hata mimi magu wali nikosea eshima, wali pochukua na huyo. Mutu ule magu wali kuwa kisikia sauti yake, na wambu ipeke yake. Wambu ipeke yake, hakuna mwingine. Hata, hata bibi yake lidia, haku kwa kimusikia. But if indeed there was anything more than prayers between the two, where was Paul Margo's wife? How did this escape her? It is still not clear who killed Lydia and her three children. What is clear, however, whoever did it wiped from the face of the earth a once peaceful and close knit family. Sio huyo kijana ange gefanya mambo kama haya. Kwa hivyo ningetaka na ninaomba Mungu. Hata ikiwa ni hapa Mungu tu usaidie tu siku moja nikiwa hapa duniani ni njue ni nini kilitendeka. Looking back it now makes sense to Esther why she was excommunicated from the church. It had nothing to do with disrespecting the church pastor and altar. Waliona kuna kitu nitagudua. Unaona? Waliona kuna kitu nitakuja nigudue. Na nikigudua hii mambo itakuwa kuwa mabaya. So akaona the best thing ni mimi niondoke. Niondoke. But it was an ingenious way of getting her out of the church's activities remain shrouded in controversy. Paul Mago left behind a will and most of his property went to Pastor Anne Wamboy and a neighbor. Because he used to be someone who was very generous. Even to the last days, I could still hear that he used to give a lot of food supplies to churches and people. I think he realized at some point that he no longer has money, he no longer has a job, he no longer can support himself or his family. And uh, even going by the, by the will that he left, that, uh, you know, he never, you know, it's something of more of a brainwashing or something. Because in his will, he never even left anything. He left the family very little to the family. Yeah? No. The bulk of his property was given to this pastor. <laughs> So I think Wakati I realize Maliake Hakuna Sasa Imeisha Akaona Hakuna Ligine. I think Ile Alikuanayo 
siwezi kaa kwa shida siwezi ishi na shida i think hiyo ndio kitu ilikuja ndani yake kaona beta miende na staki siendi peke yangu niache familia ikiteseka was it the church doctrine of Paul had become a victim of a con game in the name of God? And if indeed this was the case, why did he wipe out his entire family? He was a good man. He was a good man. Up until a point where he became too involved in church, in church things. And that is now where I think he lost it or something. I'm not saying church is bad, but I think he got involved in, in it too much. He forgot about and that he's forgot about life, forgot about work, forgot about, about business and stuff. See, it was a uh, terrible uh, you know, brainwashing, such as even what, what you have you have given to people who don't even, who have not even been in the process of hiring those things. You know, it is, not, it is not about being broke, it is about, I think he realized at some point that uh, he's given out too much, even property and stuff. And one boy was later arrested and charged in court with the crime of aiding Paul Magu to kill himself and an accomplice to the murder of Paul Magu's wife. The world might never know how Lydia and her children died or what they told their killers. The family hopes one day the truth behind the murders will be unveiled. <laughs> Lakini pengine siku moja tutajua ni nini kiliendelea. Yeah. Na ikiwa sio hapa biguni tukifika biguni kama Mungu anaulizwa maswali mimi hiyo ndio nitamuuliza ni nini kilifanyika. Lydia Magus father and mother declined to grant us an interview. The two said they are yet to get over the horror incident that shocked the entire nation and dropped them off a loving young daughter. For now, the families will have to wait, which remains as mysterious as it was horrific. He loved God. That is what I can say. Mago loved God. Abu watu wa sema kire wa nasema, rakini mimi ni najua likuwa na mpeda mwana. But answers that even they know might never come. Mom and Dad, I write this to you. I'm very grateful for you being my parents. You worked hard for me and sacrificed a lot for me and my siblings. I have left my children, Alan, Ryan and Tiffany, with my friend Charles Mutuku to look after them and educate them as his own. The little I had, I have also left to him for the purpose because Raising and educating them is not cheap. I hope understand. Kindly accept and bless that decision. It is for the best of the children. I ask you solemnly to be checking PM those children. Never let them out of your mind and please never let them suffer. To my brothers in Jurumba and Kamau and my sisters Mercy and Faith, no matter the differences that have ever been between us, we are one blood. Please forgive me for every way I ever wronged you. I have left my children with my friend Charles to look after them because I think it's for the best. I have also willed to him the little I had for this purpose. Kindly accept this decision on my part and support it and also support him as he raises my children. I also solemnly ask you, please watch over those children. Please be checking up on them. Do not forget they are your blood and please do not ever let them suffer when you can help. Charles lives in this estate I live in. There is an ongoing criminal case against Anwan Boy before a court of law. The courts are unlikely to determine what exactly led to Paul Magu to wipe out his entire family. If at all, he was the man behind it. For his family, the story of Paul Magu is a chapter yet to be closed. Case files, my family forgive me, is still a case open. Denison Sarigo, for case files.